So I'm stripping some more weight out of the beat. I'll be removing some more of the aircon parts that I started in the last video. But first, I've got a quick win. This carpet and underlay weighs 2.4 kilos. That was easy. So in the last video, I removed all of the aircon pipes and radiator and everything from here. And I mentioned that I wouldn't be taking the parts out from underneath the dash, but I am. So under the passenger side of the car, there are three main components. The blower motor, the aircon box, and the HVAC system. I'll be looking here at the aircon box and taking the core out of this. The first step is to remove this tiny little glove box. The first thing you need to remove on this aircon box is there are two ducts on either side going between the blower motor and the HVAC system. You just need to remove the straps that hold those ducts in place. So these are the brackets that hold all this together. They've got this foam on the inside and it's completely disintegrating. So I'll have to replace that so that makes a good seal into the HVAC. There's three bolts holding in the aircon box itself. One, two, and one up hidden in there that you can only feel with your hand, so that one will be fun. The next two items are to unclip the electrical connector here, and there is a tube that goes through the firewall here at the front. I don't exactly know how that works, so I'll just have to pull it out and see what happens. There's a support bar here that runs in behind this section as well. And that looks like it's just gonna get in the way even though it's not in the workshop manual to remove that. So I'm gonna try to do that first. So as you can see, I end up having to take the blower motor out just to get better access to this. But it's probably a good thing because the seal on the top of this is also toast. So I can replace that. Okay. A lot of the awkwardness of getting this out is actually just down to these pipes at the back. This flexible pipe down here just attaches to the bottom of the box. Comes off pretty easy. So now that I've got the aircon box, the blower motor and the brackets out on the table, I can get to work. Okay, I'm gonna try and split this case apart now to try and get the core out. Just a couple of screws and some clips all the way around. You take somebody's eye out with those, This is just styrofoam, I guess, for heat loss or whatever. So I've taken the core out and I've just cleaned it up a little bit on the inside, and now it's ready to reassemble. So this little piece here sat between the two, the inlet and outlet pipe. Um, so this can be, this is a hole here that is gonna have to be plugged. 
somehow so it'd be easier to do when I have this in place and then I'll just have to find two rubber bones or something like that to, um, to fill it all up. So I'm just going to look for some bones here and see if I have anything suitable. So I've now got two rubber grommets in there to plug the gap where the pipes came through. And I've also got two rubber grommets in here where they came out of the aircon box. Next up is to figure out these seals and this really worn form foam. So I've been exploring a couple of options. I found this uh, rubber strip that's used for sealing doors normally. It's a very squishy foam. It's about the same height and width as this foam that's already existing there. But it needs to slide over these openings here. And I think this might be a bit too grippy. So another option is this uh, Velcro tape and to take the soft side um, and I think this will seal and allow this to slide over this and into the, the other side as well uh, more easily but my only concern about this one is it's not very tall it's not as tall as this is so here's what I'm going to do I've got some foam double sided tape which I'm going to put on the inside of this and then I'm going to layer this on top of it just to give it a bit more depth. I think that's the best compromise. I will have to do the same here along the top of this blower motor. Uh, I had the same type of foam which totally disintegrated. So I've removed it all and now I need to put something back on here again. So the new gasket is now done and in place. work well and there's one last hole here that I need to fit this grommet to it's for this little sensor or whatever it is that pokes out the side of the aircon box this foam style tape seemed to work better for this a bit more volume to it everything is now back in it was a lot easier to put back in than it was to take it out before I put in all the brackets and all the trim pieces again, I'm just going to make sure that the fan is definitely working still. Yep, definitely working. Well, it's all back together now and looking great. If you watch my last video you'll know that I took out the passenger seat I put it in just uh, for a couple of days because I'm gonna be going to cars and coffee and I'm gonna be taking a passenger the last weight reduction item I want to look at is the aerial as you can see I've already taken out the head unit and speakers which was also in the last video so the aerial is redundant I'm not sure how easy this is gonna to be to take out so I'll just explore Well, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe this just is in contact with this part and that sleeve is the actual item that's connected to the aerial or else this was never connected to anything. Anyway, gonna take it out. And I just put a little rubber bung in here just to stop the rain getting in. It's time for the weigh-in. The aircon core weighs 17.45 so 1.7 kilos just over the aerial and the bracket that holds it in is only 53 grams so that's 1.8 kilos for those two items and 2.4 for this carpet that goes over the engine cover and the underlay so the total there is another 4.2 kilos not bad. So that means the total weight loss so far has been 51 kilos. 
That puts that little beat in at about 709 kilos in total. Pretty impressive. That's with the passenger seat out, which it normally is out. As for the weight reduction, I think that's probably it for now. The one thing I do need to do is put in one of the stereo fascia plates just to blank that off so there isn't a big hole in the dash and it looks a bit better. But I'm pretty happy with the results. 51 kilos lost. Oh, I forgot. There's one more quick win. Anyone shows it away. Six hundred and fifty grams. So that means a final weight reduction of about fifty one and a half kilos. Slant.